All right, this is a special edition of uh, Motor Mouth, where we get a little specific on uh, one of the great podcasters out there, and uh, this is uh, primarily for my daughter, Sophia, and uh, she was a... De- who's a developing game developer, if that makes sense. She's uh, 16 out there. And uh, Danny, could you introduce yourself and uh, tell, tell us about your podcast? Yeah, my name is Danny Pena. Uh, I'm founder and co-host of this video game podcast that we're going around since 2005 called Gamer Tag Radio. 2005. You yes. were a pioneer then. Isn't it? Yeah, you can say that because I also started back in 2001. I had an internet radio show back then. Too. Now, I'm thinking of what games were in that era, 2005. I mean, that, that's... 2005, original Xbox. Box, uh, oh, yeah. PlayStation 2, and I believe for Nintendo they had a GameCube. Oh, uh-huh. Ago. Yeah, so it was like very, very old school. That's before right. that, when I started uh, my internet radio show, it was all 56 game modem. There was uh-huh. no DSL. Really? Uh, <laughs> so, um, at that time, it was the Dreamcast, Sega Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, and it was something else. Do so exactly. you remember that modem sound? Like- <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, all that, all that. And actually, instead of talking through the mic, it was all keyboard-wise. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so very, very old school. But yeah, man, I started doing it for fun. And, uh, you know, now we've been doing that for 11 years. Our podcast signed a deal with CBS Radio last year and stuff. And we are very connected in the video game community. Well, you've seen a lot of changes in the industry. Right? Very much, very yeah. much. Now, the, the thing that's very popular now virtual is... Virtual reality. Virtual reality. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. I think that's... Uh, from the gaming side, it's pretty big. But also on the social side, that's going to be a big one. That's why like Facebook got involved now. And they're investing a lot of money in VR. Any predictions on VR? I mean, is it uh, truly going to change the industry, or is it going to be the... Uh... I think so, but at the same time, it's like a pause. Like, I want to see more. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, I just got to see, like, a lot of games during uh, this conference called E3 in LA. Oh, man. But it's, it's awesome. E3, awesome. That, in that class, uh, the Sophie's taking game development, she's not what talking about. What's the latest in E3, you know? Like that, so um, what it, what was the hottest thing in mean, the E3 that was it the, uh, the virtual, uh, well, the virtual virtu- reality? Re- virtual reality was big, but I think games like Zelda was pretty big. Oh, yeah. Which was is like coming out next year. Next year, uh-huh. March of next year. And there was like a four hour line just to play that game, you know. So, oh, wait a minute, did you get to play it? No, okay. we were. You didn't we have had four to, hours to kill. No, we had no four hours to kill. And at the same time, too, we we had like a lot of different appointments too for like other games. And oh, stuff sure, too, sure. So. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, I mean that that's pretty big. Uh, Resident Evil VR because I love horror games. Oh yeah, yeah. So imagine playing a scary game in virtual reality. Ooh, yeah, you don't Sound sleep quite, at night. Oh my god, it's great. <laughs> but like for your daughter, I, I, I my advice is for her like when she gets older. Yeah. The 10 events, network with other uh, developers, people in the gaming industry. There's one in San Francisco, you said. Uh, yes. What is that one called? It's called Game Developer Conference, uh-huh. DDC. Uh, it happens around February, March mm-hmm. of next year, but I highly recommend it. It's it's, uh, it's more for her. It's not like the media or something like that. So the developers, they go there and they get to see uh, engines and learn more about the industry and everything else. Oh, wow, wow. That's yeah, great. Highly, highly recommend it if you really want to get involved with the industry. You know, there's not a lot of women in the industry, I understand, too, so I was really encouraging her, too. I mean, I think it'd be a great advantage. In fact, even her in her development class, there are like 20 uh, students, high school students, right there in the heart of Silicon Valley. She's one of two girls, you know, and I think there's a real, real need for, for that. Yeah, I think that now the industry is getting a lot better with that. You know, EA is, uh, is trying to get more women involved in, in game developing. Um, also, Arts? Yeah, uh-huh. uh, EA, uh, Microsoft, Ubisoft, PlayStation, and even Nintendo. So everybody's getting more involved with that too. Right? They want more, not only women, but also minorities. Yeah, they want yeah. them also to be involved with it. Right. Show the Pena there. Uh, yes, the Pena. Pena. They forgot the Enya though. You know? Yes, I forgot, yeah. they forgot the Enya. That's <laughs> And on mine, they forgot the Lent show. It's Flood intro, but, you know, that's, you know they, had, they had to save ink this year, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> well, that's great. What's your favorite game? You go home and, and, and you know, just want to relax after a hard day. What's the game that you want to play? I love single-player games. Um, now, I also play a lot of, like, you know, simple games. It's, like, quick, five bucks with my girlfriend and um, also with other gamers, too. It's called Pac-Man 256. It's a very simple game, but it's awesome. Oh, wow. You can get it for the mobile phone for free. Or you can uh, download on Xbox, PlayStation, and stuff. Or I'll play this game called Witcher 3, which is like an open world game. RPG. Oh my god! I, the, the, uh, you can go through the villages. Go yes, also oh, you mountain. know what's up. He knows what's up. Well, uh, <laughs> so you would recommend that Sophie open the box that her father uh, got for her at Witcher 3? Oh, uh, right? Witcher 3. Well, tell her why she should open it. It's a, all right. 
to me, I'm very picky on what type of games uh, kids underage can play. Okay. I prefer. She's very advanced, 16. She's 16. I mean, it all depends going on, on 30, though. You know? It all depends on the parent, you know, but. I think um, games like Halo is pretty good to Halo 5. Uh -huh. It's a first person shooter, but it's okay for kids of that age. To okay, play. Um, That game, also Overwatch, awesome game. Oh, okay. Overwatch great. is a very. She enjoyed fun Fallout. Game. Fallout. Fallout? She enjoyed Fallout. Fallout is really, really good. Yeah, really she good. said it was one of the best games she's played. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, the industry is changing, man. So for her to get involved, that's helping us in the community too, man. So uh, props to her for her. Daddy's still trying to, uh, you know, get uh, past uh, Candy Crush. She said, you know, she says that's not a real game, Daddy. But, you know, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, everybody's contributing in the, in the community. It doesn't matter if it's mobile, console, PC. That's helping us all, man. You know, back then, when I first started playing video games in the '80s, my grandmother bought me an Atari 2600. That's the game. That's the system that basically changed my life when I started. The little cassettes, you put them in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and then Nintendo. And All right, but Nintendo. did you do Pong? Did you ever do yeah, Pong? I played Pong. Yeah, I played Pong. Yeah, of course. Okay. But I was very addicted to arcades, man. I, yeah. I used to sneak out of the house in New York City and go to like a local grocery store and buy a little arcade games. <laughs> Where are you based out of now? Uh, Miami, Florida now. Miami, Florida. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, there's not, there's a lot of gamers over there, but. Um, you know, when, when, every time we travel to like events, we always go to like New York City, uh, California, because they also have like industry events or whatever for gaming. So, what is your podcast about primarily? What's Our, your who's your audience? Uh, gamers doesn't matter if you're hardcore or casual gamers, because we talk about industry. Um, we talk about um, games that we like. Also, we give advice to people that are getting involved in the industry too. They want to know more. And we interview a lot of people on our, on our show, from actors, voice actors, movie actors, developers. Oh, all well, kinds. Yeah, 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 all kinds. I mean, we've been doing it for so long. We have like a long. Any producers? Time. She, she says she's. And she started the class. She goes, Dad, I just love the uh, the role of the producer. You know, what a great uh, uh, role, position, job, because you get such an overview. Uh, have you, uh, I mean, this, uh, there's so many names. I'm trying to think right now on the top of the spot. But okay, do, do this bit for me. Um, Look for Peter Moore. He's one of the top execs for uh -huh. for EA wow. for EA games right now. He used to work for Sega back then, um, Microsoft, and now also EA Sports. Uh -huh. And now he's uh, doing the whole EA games, and, and they're getting involved now with EA e Sports, like tournaments and stuff. Yeah. Um, do a research, and he's he's awesome. He's cool, awesome. Cool. Huh? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, last thing. Uh, what's a, a good advice for a 16-year-old? Like I said, going on 29 uh, to. Uh, what avenue she should pursue? Yeah. She should continue going. I mean, what, what do you think? I mean, she's doing the, the right thing right now. Starting going to school, uh -huh. do your thing. Network super important. Network, Network okay. super important. Attend events and at the same time be patient because everything takes time. Yeah. You know, a lot of people if they don't see results, they'll quit like this right away, man. So like for me, I went through a lot of my life, but it everything took time. And look, now we've been uh, a very successful podcast. You know, that's a, just a podcast. Imagine her, she's just going to school yeah, that's for right. video game development. So um, that's like awesome. Any favorite indie games? That you like? Oh my God, Inside just came out. Super right amazing. Down. Yes, and that's the thing I like about the indie community. They do stuff that the mainstream companies are not doing at all. They, they love yeah. taking risks. So, Inside just came out like a few weeks ago. Awesome name. Awesome. Well, that's great. And uh, if we want to check out your podcast, where do we go? Yeah, go to GamertagRadio.com or play.it forward slash Gamertag. We're there and the CBS radio page and everything. And it's an can, awesome game. And you can awesome. join us at uh, Motormouth uh, Podcast. Yeah. Uh, find us on Twitter at Motormouth Show. And uh, it's been a pleasure speaking Absolutely. with you. Thank you so much. Nice to So, keep it up. You hear that, Sophie? <laughs> now go to bed.